Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seltzer Sunday. Chef Warby, other projects. Pat in the house. This is Seltzer Bowl 2023. Ah! Here we go. Oh, wait. Sorry, but Funk Tropics are playing, right? Uh, I think it's the Kansas City Chiefs and the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, other project. Pat. Oh, not NBA Jam. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, another great find from Total Wines by Chef Warby. This is Great Divide Whitewater. And return mm. to the beer. Great beer. I think even a band, a uh, local band, too. Ah. But that to the seltzer. Four flavors. Four. All right. Wild berry, pomegranate lime, ruby red grapefruit, and mango ginger. Mmm. Pretty simple flavors. Uh, mm -hmm. because, because simple cells. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You know it. Uh, shout out to my geologists for this awesome megalodon tooth. They actually, Love it. They actually mentioned that and noticed that the other day. That's probably one of the best gifts I've ever seen other Project Pat. It is just history right on our table. That's right. Um, so four flavors. Uh, we're gonna dive into these. This is, again, this is the Great Divide White Water. Um, simple flavors. So follow us and tune in, and we're gonna dive into these. Let's kick off. You know, uh, in the Humpty Dumpty rhyme, they never mention he was an egg. No. The more you know, and the more you'll find out here on Seltzer Sunday with this Great Divide White Water. This is the uh, they're delve into the craft hard seltzer. Mm. They say make a splash, and we will. All right, uh, first flavor here is the wild berry. Mmm. Now, other project, Pat, last week we did the Alaskan mixed berry, and we gave that a 7.7. .7. So a lot of high hopes for this, uh, Chef Barbie and everybody. So let's sample. For the past two weeks, the first taste, the first one's been pretty good. And again, third week in a row. We're not disappointed. Not disappointed at all. Um... Pretty wild. Pretty wild. The schnozberry definitely makes it wild. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as, not as strong, not going to be our favorite compared to the mixed berry. But that, that one was very good. I think due to its uh, extra refreshing aftertaste, I think right. that was the key for that one. That one. Um, but everything, if you want to think about taste, aftertaste, and quantity, uh, this is going to give it a really good score. We're going to go for the 7.3 today. 7.3. Um, you it heard it might here. might get a little filling, but that's not going to make it not worth the purchase. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Next one. Let's go to the next one. Let's go. Hut, hut. All right, other Project Pad, it's time to do jokes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're receiving jokes that were written by fellow fans from all over. So we're just going to read them and determine if they're weak or neat. That's right. All right, first one. We've got Mary from Jacksonville, Florida. All right, home of the Jaguars. All right. Dear Seltzer Boys, did you hear about the kid napping at school? It's okay. He woke up. Oh, my <laughs> <Yeah>. God. <laughs> nice. Nice, Mary. Nice. Mary. Quite contrary. Well, what do you think of the project, Pat? Uh, <laughs> kidnapping. Kidnapping. Wow. Um, I'm, I, think it, I think it's a little weak, Mary, but yep. that's okay. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to say weak, too. It's, a, it's good effort. Um, kidnapping. I get it. Uh, yeah. We, a little weak. All right. So uh, next up, we've got Clayton from New London, Connecticut. Ooh. Dear Seltzer Boys, I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's all I have to do up in uh, Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, hokey pokey turned myself around. I mean, I kind of liked the uh, kidnapping one yeah, a little bit yeah. better. Uh, I think I'm going to say weak. Weak. All weak. right. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks sometimes make a wong. Huh? All right. Right, JP? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So this one is Ben from Scarborough, uh, Maine. Ooh. Way oh, up wow. There. Hope you're enjoying the oysters. Mm-hmm. Dear Seltzer Boys, the person who invented the door knock won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is a neat joke. <laughs> All right. Well, um... I'm going to say, yeah, neat. Neat. All right. Well, thanks again. Uh, appreciate you uh, sending us. So uh, 
keep keep sending them on. We'll read them right on in, and we'll read them. Yep. All right, we're in here. Seltzer Sunday, Great Divide, Whitewater, Craft Hard Seltzer. Uh, this is the second flavor. This is going to be the pomegranate lime, everybody. Pomegranate lime. Again, the first flavor was the wild berry. Very impressed with that. Now, and in the past, so the project, Pat, we have not had good history with the pomegranate flavor. It's just been a little too tart. Yep. And you know what? I feel when it comes to football, the team that scores the most touchdowns is probably going to win the game. Well, that's right, Mr. Vince Madden. That's right. All right. So, pomegranate lie. There we go. Boom! Redemption today is still oh, wow. pomegranate. Yeah, I mean... That combination with the lime, I, I didn't expect that yep. other project, Pat. That's a pretty good. A good combination. Uh, pomegranate by itself in a weak flavor. Mm -hmm. Lime always good. And you mix lime with about anything in the world of seltzer and you get a great flavor. And we found another good one here. It's like the universal mixer. That's seltzers. right. Um, no complaints. Everything, no. every uh, aspect of flavor, taste, aftertaste, quantity. Pretty refreshing. Yep. Um, this is even better than the first one. Uh, seven five, ladies seven, and gentlemen. Seven five. You um, heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. No complaints. Put this in your cooler. Um, really excited about this pack in general. I think they found the, the good, good combinations and the simple flavors. Good for any two minute drill. That's right. Next one. Next one. Hmm. All right, we're back here. Uh, Self Sunday. Ah. Third flavor here at the Great Divide White Water Craft Hard Seltzer. Again, this is the next flavor. This is the ruby red grapefruit. Ruby red grapefruit. So far, so good on these uh, Chef RV. Let's see what they taste like on this third flavor. So far, so good. We're two for two, she. Yeah. Okay. Uh, clear, uh, 110 calories, 5% alcohol by volume, mm. 20 milligrams of sodium. A little less sodium than last week. Don't know why. Shoot. <laughs> Oof. Uh, you know, if you're a grapefruit fan, like Chef RV always, always says, this is your, this is yours. But yeah. Unfortunately, this is not ours. Nope, not ours at all. Uh, For us, this fumbles the football. Yeah, this fumbled the bag. You get the I'm on Green Award. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna <laughs> talk too much about it because we have enjoyed the first couple flavors. Yeah. Uh, two six. Um, it's not our favorite. I'm only gonna have one of them. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste is good. I mean, it just tastes like you bit into a ruby red grapefruit. Some people like them, some people don't. Um, definitely better ways to utilize yeah. the flavor, but yeah. not in the seltzer. Yeah, I don't mind eating them, but drinking them, I'm kind of out on that yep. one. Yeah. So, heard your first. Not the favorite so far, but we do have one more. The fourth and final flavor. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Fourth quarter. Here we are. Fourth, final flavor here at Seltzer Sunday, Chef Boy V, other project, Pat. If you're tuning in, thank you. If it's the first time tuning in, thank you too. Yeah, appreciate right. you. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, every week. No, uh, no holds barred. That's right. Most candid reviews possible. All right, this last flavor of the White Water by Great Divide is the Mango Ginger. Mango Ginger! Um, we say this a lot, mango is, it's, it's a binary type of flavor. It's either sunscreen or mango. <laughs> right? So, yeah, it's very hit or miss. Or so TV static. Some people, some people say it's TV static, but you know, you know what we're talking about. All right, pour this up. Pour it up! Again, uh, also, this is just pure seltzer water. There's no uh, coloring or anything, so usually that leads to a better taste in seltzer, but we have been fooled before. That's right. Normally simple cells. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Or the not bad. Crap. Um, at first, when we were discussing this earlier, we thought it was refreshing because the last one just wasn't our favorite. Mm -hmm. But after delving into it and diving into it a little bit more, we like this a lot. Um, the pomegranate gin or the mango ginger mix is really evening each other out. Very much so. Um, ginger by itself may or may not be good, but uh, if you like Moscow mules, I think mm -hmm. you like this. I eat, sure do. Eat the ginger during sushi. You'll like this. Mm -hmm. um, the be be best tasting, the best aftertaste, and the most you actually want to have out of this pack. Agreed. It's a really good combination of the mango and the ginger. Yep. So now, um, now ginger helps with the stomach, right? That's true. Which is why we think you'll want to have the most of these. Very good. Nope. Point. Might actually reduce the bubble gut. Well, I ain't mad at that as a project. That's right. Uh, getting ready for the summer seltzer part three. 
So with a winning score of 7-6, ladies and gentlemen. So another good flavor, um, great pack. Um, I think it's that time, Chef Warby. It is, it's that time of the show. Outro time! Yeah. Ah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Great Divide Whitewater celebrating Seltzer Bowl 2023. Uh, the winner of today's Seltzer Bowl and this year's Seltzer Bowl is the Mango Ginger. Um, a little unexpected, but sometimes the underdog does win. Um, also, the other flavors that, that uh, made over seven were good, too. We really like the Wild Berry. I was telling Chef Boy, he actually could drink this on its own. Mm-hmm. And I will. Oh, and um, the pomegranate... Lime was yeah, pretty good uh, too. That was expect as well. The ruby red grapefruit. We had a hunch that it might be bad. Um, the winner though is the seven six with the mango ginger. Mango ginger. That's right. And now it is that time of the show for those of you who are just tuning in. Other project Pat and myself are going to do a little game that we like to call the suicide seltzer. And uh, so what's going to happen to determine who's going to drink a little concoction that we made? which looks like this. Now, what we did was we uh, made a combination of all four flavors put into this shot glass. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna play a little game of rock, paper, scissors. We're gonna go one, two, three, and shoot. The loser has to then take the suicide seltzer. So without further ado, let's do the thing. All right. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Ah, ah. <laughs> That does happen, ladies and gentlemen. Finally broke the streak again. All right. Well, hey, we appreciate you tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and Instagram. We do have a TikTok available as well. And we're going to look into some different uh, ventures as well. If you see us out in Fort Worth, be sure to say hello. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. How was it? Tremendous. All right. Bye.